Okay, game tayo dito. Clothing care part 2. Hi everybody, it's Ingrid. Welcome to part 2 of my clothing care series. I'm an image consultant from the Philippines and I usually cover image and style tips, public speaking, and practical living. Today's topic is a continuation of the last video where we talked about best practices when it comes to laundry. As I said, it's important that we care for our clothes well. These are things we invest in because how we clothe ourselves is nonverbal communication. How we present ourselves is part of the impression we make on people and it also influences whether they will want to trust us or not and how they will approach us. Taking care of clothes does not end with just washing and drying. Well, for certain fabrics that are wash and wear, you don't have to worry so much but we have to admit, hindi naman lahat ng damit natin wash and wear. Some articles of clothing really need to be ironed or steamed to remove wrinkles. Why is this a concern when it comes to clothing? What does wrinkled, unkempt clothing communicate versus clothing that's neat and wrinkle-free? If you're Filipino, perhaps you've heard the joke na habol ng plancha. It just goes to show that people do take notice if your clothing is wrinkled and unkempt. What can these possibly communicate about you? You don't take the time to fix your clothes and you're not mindful of your self-presentation? You're hurried or you're always late. You just don't care. No matter how expensive an article of clothing is, you downgrade its look and presentation if you don't take the time to steam or iron. In my experience of ironing clothes, there are irons na grabe ang bilis-bilis uminit, parang galit na galit. Akala mo nasa low yung setting mo, magugulat ka na lang may butas na yung pinaplancha mo. That happened to me, based on a true story. Test your iron levels on some scrap fabrics or old shirts you may have at home. You can also test it on paper because usually if it's really hot, makikita mo agad sa paper because it leaves a burn mark. If the setting is too low naman, hindi mas straighten yung wrinkles. So you have to know your appliance and then find the right setting depending on the kind of clothing. Pag jeans usually, because they're thicker, they can withstand heat, but not to the point naman na nasa pinakamataas na dun sa dial. Also, please know your clothing fabric. You'll see it in the tags naman how much yung percentage ng natural versus synthetic fibers. And the clothing tags would also have these labels that will guide you with the recommended settings for that kind of fabric. Pag manipis or delicate, maybe plancha is not your best option. You may have to consider getting a steamer as that can take care of wrinkles. But at the same time, be gentle on the clothes. There are some fabrics kasi, again, this is something that I experience. They melt or they warp pagka na-expose sa heat ng iron. Tapos didikit yung fabric dun sa iron plate. Tapos ang hirap niya tanggalin. So it's very wise to check the labels on your clothes so you're well guided with a way to properly wash and press them. Now, for steaming, steaming is commonly recommended for clothes with delicate fabrics, but you can also steam your shirts, your polos, your blazers. Hand steamers are also more ideal when you're traveling because hand steamers take up less space and are easier to pack compared to bringing an iron when you're traveling. Both steaming and ironing clothes can understandably take time, so I know that it may not be everyone's favorite chore, but if you recognize how important this is in helping your clothes last longer, plus the impact of clean, neatly pressed clothes on your self-presentation, then siyempre you can make time for this. Just put on your favorite K-drama, TV series, or movie while you're doing the chore. Once you've pressed or steamed your clothes, make sure that you store them with care. Carefully hang the clothes kasi ayaw mo naman masayang yung effort mo na nagplancha ka. Also, like I told you in the first video of the clothing care series, make sure that your closet or wardrobe gets good air circulation and it's not damp, so mold, germs, and dust don't settle or grow in there. Another tip I'd like to add, it's good to invest in a dehumidifier for your closet. I got this electric one from Lazada. It's been with us for two years and so far I like it. It really does the job of sucking the extra moisture in the air. Yun lang you have to check it often kasi like this one oh, puno na siya. So when this is plugged in, it just does its job. But you have to frequently check this one kasi pag napuno na siya, then you have to empty it out. But once it's empty, you can plug it back in and it will just do its do its work again. So there you have it, ironing and steaming basics. I hope this was helpful for you. Take care of your clothes. Your clothes are not just an extension of your personality, but they're also something you invest in. So take care of them. You know it's a good buy when you can wear it multiple times in multiple ways and the fabric stays intact. Till the next video, I look forward to seeing you again. To my fellow housewives and those who usually are tasked with laundry and ironing. Acha, fight. Till then, my name is Ingrid, reminding you to be teachable, keep learning, and always 
be humble.